welcome welcome to my subscribers I love you dearly welcome to anyone who is new today I'm going to do a updated vanilla note perfumes in my perfume collection because it's probably been about maybe eight or nine months since I've done that and excuse my informal clothing today all of the cute clothes are wrinkled all my cute little video clothes are wrinkled so we're gonna keep it informal today but we're gonna focus on the perfumes that's what y'all are here for right not my clothes and my makeup but the perfume so to get started one of the newer vanillas that I have vanilla note perfumes that I have this one is um, Angel Crocier and this is interesting for me because I didn't even smell or have not smelled the original Angel because Alien by Mugler turned me off so bad that I just didn't even want to deal with like any of his perfumes because I just assumed they were all like super super duper strong super duper like overwhelming but I actually really enjoyed this one this is the 2020 version there's a 2019 Crocier that had like predominant like mango fruit like tropical note I believe and the notes in this one which are interesting um fig nectar which I have not smelled before vanilla magnolia patchouli and praline and my initial impressions of this is that this is a very mature gourmand it's very sweet um for me it's pretty heavy on the patchouli I definitely get the vanilla but in the dry down I feel like the patchouli and the praline and the praline kind of comes off like toasted sweet almond to me, but that's what I get with this more than anything. But I am so happy to be loving this one because I didn't expect to love anything by Mugler after what I went through with Alien. So totally enjoying this one and shout out to my friend Lou. She sold this to me. Um, I'll put her channel below. But this was this was a nice surprise because I absolutely love the bottle and that's what like pulled me toward it. But I love the fragrance itself and I am kind of experimenting with like layering it to see what other kind of combinations I can come up with. So yeah, Angel Crocier 2020 version. Next we have the Queen Among Queens for 2020 for me in terms of like a fall scent and a really nice rich vanilla this is olympia intense this is going to get a lot of use and the notes for this one are super basic vanilla amber and salt and i get clear just clear whiffs of like each one of those notes this is so so beautiful and it's somewhat reminiscent of black opium for me and a little very much reminiscent of pure excess but it does stand on its own it's a beautiful fragrance and this is definitely a vanilla note um perfume that i really really love this one is kind of at the top of my um love list right now so one of the newer vanilla note fragrances olympia intense and i know a lot of you guys love the original olympia i need to check that one out because i haven't tried that one Next we have, let's see what we're going to pull up. This one was different for me. This is Sateen by Lalique. And the notes in here are vanilla, pink, pepper, jasmine, sandalwood, vetiver, tonka bean. There's patchouli, gardenia. A lot going on with this one. But interestingly enough, to me, it's pretty simplistic. Like, it smells almost somewhat generic but at the same time it has a richness it does have depth to it it has great projection i feel like it has great longevity and i need to experiment with this some more and, and wear it a bit more because i've worn it twice so far but i have enjoyed it far more than i thought i would just based on some of the um reviews on fragrantica some of them were complimentary some of the others not so much but moving in toward the bottle Lalique always does such a beautiful job with their bottles so I really love this one um and totally reasonably priced also so this is just something different and pretty but at the same time it's not mind-blowing so Sateen by Lalique a nice vanilla note fragrance that's just pretty simplistic yeah pretty but simplistic I'll say that all right next we have good old Casili and Delina Exclusive and I'll put these together vanilla Turkish rose in here some incense 
this is such a beautiful fragrance and this is definitely one of my very favorite vanilla note perfumes and more specifically the notes in here we have bergamot pear lychee lychee wood amber it's so so pretty and the incense note is what separates it from me from the original delina and then costly and i don't have the notes in front of me but there's rhubarb and vanilla and some tonka it's a beautiful beautiful vanilla note um, fragrance so i'll just kind of put these two together and you definitely don't need much of either one of these and i feel like delina exclusive comes up often in my videos but it's so pretty it's kind of hard not to talk about her um both of these are absolutely beautiful so two really really pretty vanilla note perfumes that i've purchased definitely in the last six or seven months love these two all right next we have vanilla fruity 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 vanilla fruity and this one the notes are caramel vanilla white peach orchid ylang ylang jasmine uh samanthus grape citron and what's interesting is when this dries down for the most part i just get vanilla i don't get a whole lot of the other notes i do get a little bit of dried fruit i feel like i'm smelling the grape in this but overwhelmingly when this dries down i feel like i'm just wearing a vanilla perfume like that's what it feels like to me um but yeah so if you want a nice vanilla that might have a little little bit of a fruit twist on it i think vanilla fruit tea is really good for that really good as it gets colder but um definitely just more straightforward vanilla more than anything else i do like this one though next we have dolce garden and this is so so pretty i just wish it would project and last a little bit longer vanilla almond milk woods coconut frangipani and ylang ylang to me it's almost like a skin scent because i have to like really put like maybe three or four sprays on this in order to get like some real depth out of it um it's pretty and i have been layering this with baccarat rouge 540 scented oil to give it some more oomph because for whatever reason those two on me they blend really well together but it's okay it's pretty in the dry down but i just feel like it needs to be a little more concentrated to have a little more presence um once it's been applied but at the same time as a vanilla note perfume it's very pretty um it's just kind of good to experiment with for myself and see what i can what other you know fragrances i can put with it to get, give it a, just like a little more depth because it needs a little more strength to it but it's still pretty nevertheless dolce garden so let me see what we got over here next ah this is one that i don't talk about much vanilla exquisite by anit gutal this is a dry vanilla not a fruity vanilla um mixed with almond it's powdery it's pretty but i layer this with vanillary from lush because it this one in addition to dolce garden it needs some help um i was not excited about it when i first got it because it wasn't sweet like i thought it would be um it's just a non-foody very elegant kind of vanilla which is not quite what i was looking for but that said i do mix it and i enjoy it when i do that but i need to get a little more use out of this so yeah it's a dry non-foody vanilla almond um very pretty nothing particularly overwhelming or nothing about it that stands out as being too too special but it's just a nice vanilla and i think when you uh, blend it or mix it with some other fragrances you can kind of get a little more out of it so yeah vanilla exquisite and i definitely need to play with that a little bit more next we have my beloved cashmere i won't talk about this a lot vanilla apricot peach there's coconut and these are all um fragrances i've gotten in the last six seven months minus vanilla exquisite i've had that one for maybe about a little over six months but all of these i love they all have a different element to this and this is like dried apricot and has been said a million times to me it's like a dried apricot tart and i have also been mixing this with just like a really basic vanilla to get a little more out of it so anything that i'm just like iffy about i'll play with it and try to see what other combinations i can come up with but yeah casimir on its own is really really lovely to me um another really nice vanilla note perfume giselle 
talked about this in my last video, I believe. Coconut, there's cinnamon, honey, um, good old vanilla. Very, very similar to cashmere, but not quite as sweet, um, not quite as heavy. Very, very pretty. And I think this is like a 1.7 ounce, totally reasonably priced. I think the bigger bottle is a little more expensive, but it's going to take a while to get through this one anyway. Um, where do I have the notes for this one? Because this one is a little bit different. Um, let's see, Elaine Lang, Freesia, Jasmine, Caramel, Vanilla White, Honey, Cinnamon, Sweet. I would say it's a little bit gourmand, definitely on the dry down, but it's not overly rich if you get it, you know? If you understand what I'm saying, it's sweet but not overly. So this is a really, really nice vanilla note one for vanilla lovers. I think this is a, is a really good one to try out. And let me see here, we have a few, couple honorable mentions. My beloved Neroli Blanc Intense, Neroli Orange Blossom Vanilla, absolutely beautiful. I think this is great for summer or fall, but this is definitely at the top of my um, Vanilla Note perfume list. So, so beautiful. And bringing up the rear, last but absolutely not least, is Serge Luton, um, Un Bois Vigny. This is just a vanilla staple. For men or women just rich and a little bit smoky and just works so well as it gets colder I know this is not a fall scents video but I think vanilla is almost synonymous with fall for me um, because it tends to be rich and sweet but yeah um bois vanille is a vanilla I've had for quite a while now but just wanted to definitely make mention of this one because this one is just a classic this one will just never generally I feel like go out of style so yeah Um Bois Vigny by Serge Luton so those are some of overwhelmingly some of the newer ones there's a couple in there that I've had for a little bit now but let me know if you guys have any of these I love them all and yeah Angel was a really nice surprise because I'm just too scared of um, Mugler right now. His stuff is just super, super overbearing. And next I need to try Angel Muse. I've been saying for the longest time I'm going to get that one. So I need to check that one out next. So thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Um, yeah, leave me a comment and let me know which one of these you have or which one of these you like. I appreciate you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye.